Well, basically, because Croatia is in trouble, unemployment is high, growth is negative, uh, corruption is rampant. Uh, on the other hand, the European Union is not in a very bright situation. So the bottom line is that the Croats do not really see how the European Union can help them. Uh, even subsidies are not going to be as generous in the past. Um, they are going to receive something like 10 billion euros between now and 2020. They're not peanuts, but it's not going to change the destiny of the country or its revival from. Well, apart from the subsidies, which is always something highly welcome, um, the, the obvious reply would be, well, exports. We have, you know, European Union is 500 million people market, and these crores are just 4.5 million, so it would be relatively easy for them to find a niche in the European market. The problem is that uh, the crores right now are not very competitive. The only really successful industry they have is tourism, mm -hmm. and they don't need the European Union for that. So... The, question, the answer to your question is, it's uncertain. First of all, they should put their own house in order. Well, it doesn't really mean too much. Uh, some people might be scared by immigration. In, uh, recent polls are saying that doesn't, well, about 50,000 young Croats plan to go abroad as soon as they have a, a possibility. Now, 50,000 out of 500 million is not a big impact. But, you know, uh, when you raise the question of intra-union migration, some countries always get a bit skittish. Uh, Perhaps uh, from the agricultural point of view, Croatia is still very heavy in agriculture and uh, so we might have access to their cheap and tasty and uh, interesting agricultural goods, but that's about it.